Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to have a look at one of the brand new facilities in the Indigo Disc, the Item Printer and Pokeball Lotto. <laughs> So one of the best new features that we've got in the Indigo Disc is the item printer. Those of you that are familiar with Pokemon Sword and Shield, this is Scarlet and Violet's version of the Kramomatic machine. But I feel like this is a lot better than the Kramomatic ever was. Now to access this in your game, you're going to be at the entrance hall to the Blueberry Academy and you're going to want to head to the League Room. This is where the item printer will be located. When you first come in here, you're going to have to unlock this feature, though. That is something that you're going to have to do by paying Blueberry points. Now, you'll come over to the League Room computer here and you're going to contribute Blueberry points to the Science Club. You'll see the Science Club on this list. And for the price of 200 Blueberry points, you'll be able to unlock the item printer facility. You get a call from Reese, the scientist, who will then install the machine and it will be in its standard Pokeball form when you first get it. As you can see here on the screen, it is the Master Ball form. This is its fully upgraded form. Now, if we hop over to Cerebi here, we can see the different upgrades that are going to be available to this machine. The item printer upgrades. After using the item printer a certain number of times, you'll be able to improve it. This is done in exchange for Blueberry points and it makes the item printer more efficient while also unlocking more features. Now, when you first get it, it will be the Pokeball version and it will cost you five Blueberry points per item printing job. There will be no special bonuses with the Pokeball item printer and there will be no requirements to actually be using it. You will then be able to choose between one print job and five print jobs when it's in this initial Pokeball state. So for a total cost of 25 Blueberry points, you can get five items out of it every time, but you're gonna have no bonuses. Now to upgrade the item printer from the Pokeball version to its Great Ball version, you're gonna have to do a total of 30 print jobs. Now that's a total of spending 150 Blueberry points. And then on top of that, once you hit that 30 print job total, you'll get prompted by Reese, who will then say the machine is ready, got enough data to be upgraded for a cost of 200 Blueberry points. But then when you upgrade to the Great Ball version of the machine, the cost per item printing job goes down from five Blueberry points to four Blueberry points. And you'll also get the item times two drop bonus. So this is a really good feature that you're going to be able to get access to where you'll have a 1% chance every time you do a print job, you're going to have the opportunity to get a bonus round where it will give you double item drops the next round that you do it. And you'll definitely know when you get this bonus, the machine will light up like this and you'll see yellow lights in the middle of the Pokeball and it'll indicate that next round you do a job, you're going to get double item drops for whatever items you get out of the machine. Now, the next upgrade you're going to get is the Ultra Ball version, and that means that you're going to have to do 80 print jobs with the Great Ball version until you're able to unlock the Ultra Ball. But when you do that, you'll get the prompt from Reese once again. This time it's going to cost you 500 Blueberry points to upgrade to the Ultra Ball, but it's definitely worth doing this because the cost per item printing goes down from four to three with Ultra Ball. So it will be cheaper overall per item. And you also get another special bonus, which is going to be the best bonus, I think, with this facility. And it's going to be the Pokeball Lotto. So every print job that you do, you get that 1% chance of the item drop times two bonus. But you also get on top of that a 0.1% chance of getting this special Pokeball Lotto feature, which is, again, when that appears the next time you do this, it will not pull items from the item table it will actually pull items from the Pokeball table. So these are a list of all the standard items that you're going to get in the item printer facility, and they're all weighted by different colors. But the Pokeball table is down here, and you can see that you're going to be able to get the rarer Pokeballs, which is going to be Master Ball, Safari Ball, Fast Ball, Level Ball, Lure Ball, Heavy Ball, Love Ball, Friend Ball, Moon Ball, Sport Ball, Dream Ball, and Beast Ball. So all of the Apricorn Balls, the Beast Ball as well on top of that, as well as the Master Ball going to be there. And then you're going to have your regular Pokeballs below that, which are going to have a bit of a less weighting as well. You can see uh, most of the Apricorn Balls are going to be like 1.75 chance of appearing when you do the job. The Master Ball, the lowest rarity out of everything. And then as you go down to the more common Pokeballs, the rarity is going to increase. So you're almost guaranteed to get Pokeballs or Premier Balls per job. 
But if you're doing up to 10 jobs at a time, which you get access to through the Great Ball and the Ultra Ball facility, you're going to have a good chance of getting one of those special Pokeballs, at least with every job that you do when you get this Pokeball lot or bonus. And finally, the upgrades don't stop there because once you've hit that Ultra Ball mark, you can carry on upgrading the machine until its final point, which is going to be its Master Ball facility. So Master Ball upgrade will come after you've done 100 print jobs in the Ultra Ball facility. And again, once you hit this point, you'll be prompted by Reese, who will say the machine can be upgraded to its final state. You'll have to pay a thousand Blueberry points to upgrade it to this point. And you'll also have to have caught Terrapagos in the game. So you're going to have to be in the post game to upgrade it to the Master Ball. If you haven't caught Terrapagos yet down in Area Zero, then you'll have to wait until you've done this. Come back to the item finder, come back, speak to Reese. Once you've done all of that, you'll be able to then upgrade it to the Master Ball facility. So just bear that in mind. The cost per item printing job will be three Blueberry points per time. And this time, the only upgrade that you're going to get, it can then start printing Stellar Terra Shards. The item drops are all weighted. You're going to have the gold color, which look like this. And they are going to be made up of things like higher cost items. Big Nuggets, Ability Patches, Gold Bottle Caps, Star Suite and the Ribbon Suite are really useful items. And I think as it stands right now, this is the only way to be able to get these in your game. So these are Alchemy Evolution items. You can find the rest of them around the Terrarium, but I think the Star and the Ribbon are the very rare ones and they are gold drops that you can get from this item. So a really good way to get them. I've managed to pick up a few of those throughout using the machine for about an hour when I did this earlier on. We're also going to get useful items as well, like the Lucky Egg and the Amulet Coin, which seem to be a little bit more higher in waiting for rarity than most of the other ones, whereas the Big Nuggets, which are going to be probably the more common drop out of the gold colored item drops. Then you're going to move down to the silver item drops. It's going to be made up of all your Terra Shards pretty much. And those Stellar Terra Shards that we've already mentioned that are a little bit rarer as well as the large XL candies and then the big nuggets and the big pearl and other higher cost items like ability capsules and bottle caps. Then you're going to come down to the next increment, which is going to be your white items, which is going to be pretty high cost items in total, which is going to be your like vitamins, your smaller candies, medium candies, and then strawberry sweets, love sweet, berry sweet. You're going to get a fairy feather as well, battle items, which are always going to be useful. And you're going to come down to the white items, of course, as well. You're going to get a lot of the evolution items. The Electivizer, you're going to get the metal alloy as well that can evolve Duraludon into Archeludon. And then you're going to come down after this, these battle items down to the normal items, which are going to be the highest rarity out of everything that you're going to be getting. And they're going to be like your potions, max revives, things like that, evolution stones as well, and everything else before you come down to the Pokeballs, which we've already covered. So once you have upgraded your machine, it is very easy to use. I have had a lot of success using this machine. You speak to Reese, you say you want to do a print job, and then you're presented with a list of all the Pokemon materials that you've collected throughout your playthrough to this point. Like I say, they all have a different weighting. You need to make up that 100% depending on the amount of print jobs you do, you can select through. The minimum you can do is one print job per time, which will be three Blueberry points per item. And this is on the Master Ball feature, same cost for the Ultra Ball feature as well. But you can do a maximum of 10 jobs per time, which will be 30 Blueberry points per time, which will be the required materials. Percentage is gonna be 1,000. 100% uh, per item. So one of the things I do when I come into the item printer is look for Pokemon material that I have a lot of. I had a lot of the Dunspar scales, so I was using them primarily most of the time. That gets us over the mark. We use the required 38 amount of those to get over that 1000% for the 10 items that we've got. And then we can set the machine where to go. This is when we were doing it through the Ultra Ball mode. We do have the two bonuses active, of course, doing this. And you'll be able to see if we get any rare items. No gold items here, but four silver items and five white. So that's not terrible. But we do get some terror shots and some nice other items. Now, when the machine does this, it stops, it pauses, and you'll get a beat of a drum. And then this will fire up. This is the activation of the Pokeball Lotto. This is what you're looking out for this bonus stage. Now, the next time you do the item printer, you can put the same materials into it. Just make sure you're over that 1,000 mark. Make sure you do 10 print jobs to give yourself the maximum amount of opportunity to get those special Pokeballs and then set it away again. 
and it'll be like the normal kind of process but this time around it will fish for items from the pokeball table not the item table so when it opens up you're going to want to be looking for these sparkling aura balls and this means we got two of them we got three gold ones and you can see here we get a moon ball and a beast ball in this turn which is absolutely crazy and this is just in the Ultra Ball mode. So even if you haven't finished the game, if you haven't got Terrapagos yet, you can still take advantage of this Pokeball Lotto bonus in this machine. And you can see here, this is just before we needed to upgrade the machine to the Master Ball. So we got a pretty good drop there just before we pay that 1000 Blueberry points to upgrade the machine and to that Master Ball tier. So you can see it's at its final upgrade stage here, which is really great. And then we can continue to use it on. And I got very lucky. I spent about 40 minutes doing the item printing with this and ended up getting a lot of really good special Pokeballs. I got two Safari Balls, a Love Ball Level Ball, two Heavy Balls and a Moon Ball. As well as that, I did end up getting the star and the ribbon sweets which are very rare item drops along with that a bunch of high cost items which i went back to Paldea to sell and ended up getting about 2.5 million poker dollars for so really all in all it's a very good method for getting the special really rare items that you can get in the game especially if you are considering going shiny hunting for those starter pokemon and you want to put them in special pokeballs this facility is something that you're going to want to take advantage of at the same time you're going to get a lot of higher cost items it's going to make having a lot of poker dollars in your game very easy so you're not going to have to grind through the yes, academy tournament anymore but you are going to have to prioritize getting blueberry points to be able to use this facility if you want to get blueberry points make sure you check out this video here on the channel that we put up yesterday to make it as easy as possible to farm blueberry points in the indigo disc but that is the item printer in a nutshell and that is the pokeball lotto which i say you do have a very small chance every time you complete a job of having that bonus round so you have to be a little bit persistent have a little bit of patience and have a bunch of blueberry points uh, to make sure that you're not going to run low on them so you can do this facility in game if we do get some further information down the time where we've got a bit better idea of the ingredients that we can put in to yield better results i will update this video and put out a new one to make sure that you're all aware of doing the right things but at this moment in time it doesn't feel like there's any sort of correlation with the items that you put into the items that you get out but like i say if there's any updates there We'll put a video out updating you as soon as possible. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and have a lot of fun with the item printer in the Indigo Disc. If you've enjoyed it, please drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.